Hello my little Willies! In today's tutorial you will learn how to knit the apron stitch pattern step by step, another classic of the knitting world which I wanted to share a long time ago, but as with the honeycomb stitch we learned last week, I never had the time and these days we all have a little extra. It's a unisex reversible pattern, although not identical on both sides. It doesn't curl, so it's a great choice when knitting women's and men's scarves, cowls and sweaters. So grab your needles and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on a multiple of 6 plus 5 stitches. For example, 6 times 2, 12, plus 5, 17 stitches. Remember, you will find the reading instructions on my website, sewwoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. First row, right side of the work. We start with knit four, one, two, three, four, and now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the reading instructions. So the repeat is purl three, knit three. One, two, three, and repeat. Let's do it again. Purl three, one, two, three, knit three, one, two, Three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left. And only on this first row, I like to knit the last one through the back loop. So we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, we start with purl four. When you see the bumps, you have to purl. When you see the Vs, you have to knit. So we need what we see, starting with purl four, one, two, three, four, and now comes the repeat, which is the opposite as we did last on the last row. Knit three, purl three. So knit one, two, three, and now purl three. One, two, three, and repeat. Knit three, one, two, three, purl three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating to last stitch and end the row with purl one. Third row, as per row one, we need what we see. So we start with knit four, one, 
two, three, four. You can see all the V's. And now comes the repeat. When you see the bumps, you know you have to purl. Purl three, one, two, three, knit three, one, two, three, and repeat. Purl three, one, two, three, knit three, one, two, three. Two last stitch. We end the row with knit one. Fourth row, as per row two. Four bumps, so we start with purl four, one, two, three, four, and now comes the repeat. You will see three Bs, that means knit three, one, two, three, purl three, one, two, three, and repeat. Knit three, one, two, three, purl three, one, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating to last stitch and end the row with purl one. Fifth row. Here we're going to make a double decrease. But don't panic, it's really easy. We start with knit one. Yarn over, so bring the yarn forward and over the right hand needle, slip one as if to knit, just pass it onto the right hand needle, knit two together, keeping your yarn between the first and the second stitch, and pass the slipped stitch over this last one. That's a double decrease. Yarn over. And now comes the repeat. We are not going to knit what we see, but the opposite. So we start with knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, slip one as if to knit. Or knitwise, knit two together, keeping your yarn always there, and pass the slipped stitch over this last one, yarn over. That's a repeat. Let's do it again. Knit three, one, two, three, yarn over. Slip one, knit wise, knit two together, and pass the slipped stitch over this last one. Yarn over. If you have more stitches, keep repeating to last stitch, and in the row with knit one. Row six, as per row one. We start with knit four, that's the yarn over, 
That's the second yarn over. And now comes the repeat. Purl three. Knit three. One, two, three. And repeat. Purl three. One, two, three. Knit three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left and end the row with knit one. Row seven. We start with purl four. One, two, three, four. And now comes the repeat. Again, we are knitting what we see. When you see the Vs, you knit. When you see the bombs, you purl. So knit one, two, three, and purl three. One, two, three, and repeat. Knit three, one, two, three, purl three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating. Two last stitch, which is a purl one. Row eight. Knit four. One, two, three, four. And now comes the repeat. Purl three, one, two, three, knit three, one, two, three, and repeat. Purl three, Knit three. Two last stitch. End in the row with purl one. Row nine as per row seven. We start with pour four. Three. Four, and now comes the repeat. Knit three. One, two, three. Purl three. One, two, three. And repeat. Knit three. Purl three. One, two, three. And keep repeating to last stitch, ending the row with purl one. Row ten, as per row eight, we start with knit four. And now comes the repeat. Purl three, knit three. So purl one, two, three, knit three. One, two, three. And repeat. Purl three, one, two, Three, knit three, one, 
two, three. Two last stitch and in the row with net one. Row eleven. This is another row to change the direction of our little squares and we're going to make the double decrease. So we start the row with knit four. One, two, three, four. And now comes the repeat. Yarn over, slip one, knit wise, knit two together, Pass the slipped stitch over this last one, yarn over, knit three, one, two, three, and repeat, yarn over, slip one, knit wise, knit two together, Pass the slipped stitch over, yarn over, knit three, one, two, three. Keep repeating until there is only one stitch left and end the row with knit one. Last row, row 12. We start with purl four. You see the four bumps there? One, two, three, four. And now comes the repeat. Knit three. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, and repeat, knit three, two, three, purl three, one, two, three, and keep repeating to last stitch and in the row with purl one. And that's it, my little willies. These 12 rows form the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. And when finished, bind off after a row five. It would be the wrong side of the work, working each stitch as it presents. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to share your swatches and projects on Instagram and mention me so all my little woolies can see them. Hugs and happy knitting!